Solar power is extremely important to us. In fact, solar power is the ultimate source of energy for our planet. The Guyana Energy Agency continues its journey of harnessing the sun's power across Guyana. After installing a solar farm at Lethem in the South Rupununi savannas, the agency through funding from the Inter-American Development Bank IDB is now farming the sun in another part of the country, where the Essequibo, Mazaruni and Cuyuni rivers meet, Bartica. Once an Anglican missionary settlement, the gateway to El Dorado in the Cuyuni Mazaruni region was developed as a central launching and landing point for the extractive gold, diamond, and logging industry. Development continues today and will be accelerated by a more reliable and affordable source of energy the sun. Carved out of a patch of dense tropical forests, the 1.5 megawatt solar PV farm is located at Dark Point, Bartica about five kilometers from central Bartica. Unlike the Letham Solar Farm, the Bartica Farm is roughly 2.2 kilometers from the Guyana Power and Light GPL diesel power generation station and will be connected by a transmission line. Martin Carto, Alternative Energy Manager of Farfin and Mendes and partner Sovintex Caribbean, on a tour of the facility, shared how the system will support GPL in fulfilling Bartica's growing energy needs and extend renewable energy across Guyana. In Bartica, what will happen is that as the system stores energy and there is a demand from the utility grid, um, th this system will support the utility grid. If there's any brownouts, if there's any demand for energy um, from the utility, this solar PV system will support that demand. Um, it can do, because it has batteries, it can do so both at day and at night. These systems are kind of unique in design. They're the first ever uh, type of systems to be installed in Guyana. We're anxious to test them. The technology has been tested and proven many times over by our partners, our international partners, Eventix Caribbean. But we're anxious to test in Guyana and to demonstrate that uh, these systems have the capability to support local utility networks. So how will this solar farm benefit the people of Bartica and ultimately Guyana? Dr. Mahinder Sharma, CEO of the Guyana Energy Agency, breaks it down. Within the next five years, we'll be adding uh, more than 500 megawatts of new generation capacity. Today's solar farm at Bartica is one component of that. It generates power from the sun the intention is to provide that power to the GPL grid. In doing so, the solar panels here will displace quite a bit of energy to about 2 million kilowatt hours of energy will be displaced utilizing solar power. That's about 4,500 barrels of diesel. And the environmental benefits in the form of avoided carbon dioxide emission, emissions are about 1.5 million kilograms every year. This has the potential to reduce the cost of electricity in, from GPL in, in terms of the energy that they produce on a daily basis. Daniel Swain for the Newsroom.